Developing right now, finalizing plans to get COVID shots for the youngest Americans. Doctors all around the country can start giving the COVID vaccine to children as young as six months old this week. It follows the green light from the CDC yesterday. So what exactly does that mean in our area? Here's our Joanne Pileggi. Covering all bases and nearly all age groups now, the CDC has given the green light for young children to get vaccinated. The rollout happening this week. It's Father's Day and families are at the park in Cherry Hill. COVID-19 doesn't appear to be a worry at the moment. Kids are having fun, parents too. But some moms and dads will have some decisions to make this week. We are actually very glad that the CDC has recommended the vaccine for children in six months to five to six years old, depending on the vaccine. And we're glad that we're able to now vaccinate that group of children and make sure that they're protected against COVID-19 virus. Over the weekend, the CDC did, in fact, clear the path for babies over six months, toddlers and young children to be vaccinated. Little Abby Cohen came into the world during the pandemic. Her mother, Brandy, isn't sure what to do for her 18-month-old. Mom, dad, and Abby have already had COVID-19. I'm uncomfortable at this stage. I'm waiting to see how it plays out, but um, I'm open to it. Just so I want to see how things progress with everybody else, you know, getting it and or the, um, you know, data that starts to come out. After lengthy testing by pharma companies Pfizer and Moderna, their lower dose vaccination for young children will be available Tuesday. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that they are all vaccinated and you know, they could be able to go out and play, have enjoyed the day. Go to daycare or school without a mask or... Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Doctors say the vaccine may not prevent kids from getting COVID-19, but like it has with adults and other age groups, they expect it will lessen the severity. We're hoping that, uh, that the virus continues to decrease in terms of numbers. However, if children are exposed to the virus, now that they're vaccinated, they have less of a chance of being hospitalized. Uh, with the disease or severe illness from the disease. The federal government has moved swiftly to make 10 million doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines available for babies, toddlers, and young children as soon as this week. In Cherry Hill, I'm Joanne Pileggi, Fox 29 News.